Yeah. Great to see you guys. Really the fastest opening I ever heard. Great job on that. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm Ivan Varko. This is our slide. Uh, we are from company InfoMedia. We are doing metaverse and we heavily rely on data. Uh, before everything else, I would like to give it, to pay a tribute to Ukrainian soldiers uh, fighting for free world, for our freedom, and just like some nation get out, uh, Russian nation get out of its mind to break the world where they cannot win. And places like this are turned into ashes, and it's really great to have this place uh, safe because people are dying there. Whew, uh, really hard for me. Uh, so, okay, uh, now back to data. So this is map, this is actually a real map. Uh, we have the whole streaming pipeline for VR video, uh, for VR videos, and the brighter the area, the more VR users are there. We also have like the rest part of the world includes Japan, China, and I'm really surprised to see like uh, uh, those really bright dots, uh, super north, and I believe we have some few dots in North Korea as well. And uh, just to get a sense uh, of the audience, how many of you guys have tried VR? Like, even if you got headset, tried it once, everything counts. Okay, so uh, great to see many can uh, have experienced the magic of VR. And uh, let's see, so VR, it seems to be like, uh, people were dreaming about VR since uh, 30s and Right now it's 2022 and we are at perfect, perfect storm where VR is getting bigger and more people are getting into VR and like technologically, demographically, all the aspects show us that uh, something big is happening. There is more content ca coming, uh, there are better headsets are coming and uh, on top of content, we are building, uh, let's say meta content, we extract metadata and uh, data, like uh, in our company, we call data everything that is data is data. So for us, like metadata is super important because you make sense of all the great variety of videos. Uh, it's not about like individual experience of watching a video, but that's like um, people have limited time and uh, they want, uh, they are in particular mood and they want to get the right content for that particular time and that's the point of our interest. Uh, also, um, yeah, like if you have so many videos, you start, there are other factors that come into place, like how do you rank those videos? What part of the video people would rather watch? And suggestions, search, uh, more and more and more. Also, despite virtual reality is like, it's really tech heavy. It's, there is like a huge um, density of tech and there is even more tech coming on top of it. So we are like really seeing this, uh, like right now at this point, uh, sometimes it was not clear, like is we are growing or no, but uh, as uh, there are many factors coming in place, we expect that VR is going to be a huge thing. So this is like, uh, what is VR video? It's basically a hack of, your, of our human side. Uh, each of you guys and girls, you watch in uh, flat, flat images, then uh, your, your retina, the retina of your eyes, it gets two flat pictures, and then your brain using its uh, computational and imagination powers recreates this special world, spatial world as we see it. So you, you have a feel of distance, and VR is a hack, so basically you have, uh, the camera has left and right eye, we project it, uh, super distorted image on your retina and your brain magically recreates the whole world. And right now, our standard, like it's for 2022, it's 8K video and it's 120 FPS and YouTube is uh, 4K 30 FPS just for some compar uh, comparison. It's super high performance. Uh, it's basically stere 180 stereoscopic panoramas. In uh, next year, we expect a uh, uh, 12K video to emerge. And then a bit later, but it does not mean anything because uh, later on we expect a six degree of freedom video where you can move around and uh, uh, experience things like in real life. 
Okay. And this is like, uh, this is uh, just a random picture of uh, VR dudes. So uh, all you need is an empty room and your imagination. Okay, two minutes. Uh, your imagination, so then you get into magic place of VR. So VR is just a container, empty container, the metaverse is container, and you make things happen using imagination. So for data, we need a ton of data, like we are dealing with a ton of data to make metaverse happen. So first part of data is video metadata, something we can extract from the imaginary that we get. It's basically computer vision, data labeling, depth maps are the priorities, but there is more on top of that. And then we use like data for product analytics and business intelligence, so basically personalized content feed, and TikTok, uh, YouTube is a great example, probably Facebook, super crazy. Uh, TikTok is sick. Uh, user sampling, suggestions, search, uh, and many other uh, user analytics data. So those people who work with data analytics now all this. Spotify, really great suggestion. So we try, because we are building ecosystem, we can fit everything in. Those sec secret uh, seven, seven minutes. So this is just a, a sample of depth maps. We, we create uh, uh, depths. Uh, we, we need to know what's the distance to each object. Uh, this is data labeling and deep learning models uh, related to objects tracking. So we can now, basically, we can know what's happening in the videos in many cases. Uh, Multi-camera reconstruction and six degree of freedom. This is, uh, it's coming probably next year. We are just touched the very base of it. Really cool technology. So you can capture the object from different angles. And that is it. Uh, so basically we are in Slovenia. We feel that we have hit the ceiling and we would like to work. We have a ton of data. In VR, we know exactly what happens to the user. And we need more people to help us to make sense and use this data and move forward. So come join us. And if you work in any of those fields, we'd be really happy to talk to you guys. It was a great pleasure. Thank you.